the conductor. Could you please send this for me? Reach for the speed. Reach for the whistle. I'm station manager Stacy Jones, inviting all of you to come and visit me and my nephew Dan, his friends Becky and Kara, and our new engineer Billy Two Feathers, oh yes, and schemer, right here at Shining Time Station. It's a place where anything can happen, from magic shows to a magical conductor, where Thomas and his friends are having adventures you've never seen before, and where the jukebox band is playing all new songs. So, there's a whole new season of Shining Time Station filled with chills and spills, a baseball game, and even a wedding. But you better hurry over, because you never know who else will be visiting Shining Time Station. Well, see you later. Has the letter arrived yet? Yep, they've Your already got it. Imagination waiting there for you. People get sentimental over the darndest things, and particularly when it comes to popular music. Some people who are ordinarily very mature can turn positively dewy-eyed over a country-western ballad. There are others who become all moony when they hear the sound of swing, and fans of the Latin beat have been seen basking in a romantic glow just listening to a tango. And rock and roll gets to a lot of folks in a very big way. Well, I think it's okay if music puts you in a sentimental mood. It's a nice, warm feeling. And here at 13, you're sure to find the kind that turns you on because this station features all musical styles as part of its broadcasting schedule. But there's nothing sentimental about 13's decision to air such a variety of music shows. The job here is to serve this whole community, not just one segment of it. That's a tall order, and it can only be filled with the help of wide community support. So if you'd like your favorite melodies to linger on here, make a sentimental journey to your phone and call with your membership pledge. One of the most delightful characters in 13's broadcast schedule is Thomas the Tank Engine. He's strong, and he's wise, and he's thoughtful. And now he's yours as our thanks for your $75 membership pledge. Call the number you see on your screen and say that you're joining 13 because of Shining Time Station and because of the joy and the pleasure this series brings you and your family. Make that call now. This Thomas of ours is solidly built and safely constructed with no detachable parts. And that makes our Thomas the Tank Engine a rare and durable souvenir of a charming fantasy series which 13 is proud to present with your help. We'll happily pay for the call if you phone now and pledge $75. So please, pick up your phone, make 13 your own shining station, and for a $75 membership pledge, accept as our thanks this enduring, endearing young hero, your very own Thomas the Engine from Shining Time Station. Why not take out a family membership in 13? It's like two memberships in one. You give the youngster of your choice the Club 13 card, you receive the 13 membership card. You can use it immediately to benefit from our Ticket to the Arts program. The card entitles you to all kinds of discounts from plays to museums. It's good at participating institutions throughout the tri-state area. The family membership also includes the Kids Culture Guide. It has listings of places to go and things to do, many of them free of charge, that will make culture a word synonymous with fun. The whole family will find it an enriching source of pleasures. And rest assured, a family membership always includes a handy 13 tote bag and our monthly program guide for a full year. Family memberships are available at $75, $85, or $115. Stay tuned for details or ask our operator. There was a, a sequence a show once where Henry got locked in a tunnel and, and he wouldn't come out. And it's very much like little kids sometimes just want to be by themselves and don't want to participate and are afraid to go out. And I think he really identified with that story very much. And yet there was a resolution where the character came out and helped somebody and found a way to come out of his shell, which I think helped him also to do that.
Barney did a segment on toothbrushing. A giant toothbrush and the whole, this is the way you do it and why it's important. You know, real fundamental things like this. And, um, and I remind her on a daily basis <laughs> when we're doing our morning toothbrushing. Marie, Barney says, you know, that's, that's the slogan. You know, Barney says it's important to brush your teeth, to have a nice clean smile and to smile at your friends. And, and we go through it and that gets her teeth brushed, you know, and I'm happy. <laughs> If you prefer, mail your check to 13, Box 1313, New York, New York, 10101. Major funding for this morning's programming is provided by the Helena Rubinstein Foundation, a longtime supporter of outstanding children's television. Shining Time Station was underwritten in part by Dayton Hudson, which includes Dayton's, Marshall Fields, and Hudson's. Funding for this program was provided in part by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by the financial support of viewers like you. Reach for the speed, reach for the whistle, go where the rail may run. Reach for the word. Reach for the story, follow the rainbow sun To a shining time station Where dreams can come true Waiting there for you Dear Cousin Dan, I can't wait till you get here Shining Time Station is busier than ever Dear Cousin Kara, guess what? Our grandfather Harry was transferred to Fort Farley. So Shining Time Station has a new engineer. His name is Billy Two Feathers. But schemer is still schemer, and you know what that means. And Aunt Stacy is fine, and she's really happy running the station. A man named Mr. Nicholas came to visit us at Christmas time. Mr. Nicholas needed help in his workshop, so when he went back to his home at the North Pole, Mr. Conductor went along with him. But then Mr. Conductor's cousin arrived. There's always a Mr. Conductor living here, or else it wouldn't be Shining Time Station. See you on Halloween. Love, Tanya. When you get here, your cousin Matt.